So you're thinking about moving to North Georgia. In this video, I will be talking about literally everything there is to know about living in North Georgia. As you've noticed on my channel, I do a deep dive on each of these small little towns in North Georgia, but you may be wondering, where do I even start? What are these places? Where are they? What I'm gonna do is take a map, and we're gonna zoom out, and then we're gonna get a good starting point for you. If you're early on in your journey, if you're just looking at North Georgia, or you have no idea what to think about North Georgia, we're gonna give you everything you need to know, especially proximity to Atlanta, you know, where it is as far as the National Forest, some of these little small towns, how close they are to maybe North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee. We'll give you everything you need to know. My name is Tim Gibson and I'm a realtor in North Georgia. My channel is all about living in North Georgia, as you might have guessed. Of course, if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel so I can keep you up to date about living in North Georgia. As always, if you are thinking about moving to the area, please reach out. My contact is right here on the screen for you. Without further ado, let's jump into what you may need to know about living in North Georgia. Before we jump into the map, I wanted to answer the question, why North Georgia? Why would you even want to live here? Number one on my list would be nature. You can do anything you would ever want to do outdoors wise in North Georgia. Some things that I love to do in North Georgia, always hiking. I love to take my family hiking. We go out on the Appalachian Trail quite a bit. I love to get out in the woods and get on a river somewhere and do some trout fishing. It's nice and quiet and all you hear is the river. Great place to get away. There's tons of those places in North Georgia. The Chattahoochee National Forest comprises a lot of North Georgia, and there are so many spots to go camping. We love to visit the state parks in North Georgia also. Unicoi State Park, Vogel State Park are just a couple that I can think of off the top of my head. Beautiful, there's lots of waterfalls in North Georgia that we visited almost all of the waterfalls in North Georgia. Another great reason for living in North Georgia is the proximity to Atlanta, which is of course the largest city in Georgia and also the capital of Georgia. Last I checked, I think the population of Metro Atlanta is somewhere around 6 million people, so it's more than half of the population of the state of Georgia lives in Metro Atlanta. So naturally, you have a lot of job opportunities. There are a lot of Fortune 500 companies in Atlanta. Home Depot, Coca-Cola, Delta, and UPS are just a couple that I can think of off the top of my head that are located in Atlanta. And you have one of the busiest airports in the world located just south of Atlanta. So most of these North Georgia towns are gonna be somewhere around an hour to an hour and a half from Atlanta and the airport. So you have a decent proximity to a major city and a major airport if you need to commute or if you need to fly out for any business or anything like that. And during COVID in 2020, whenever the whole world shut down, I noticed a lot of people were moving into Atlanta from other parts of the country because they could actually work from home. And I know that a lot of people are still working from home. So people chose to live in a place that's beautiful, that's quiet, a place that has a small town feel, but they could still work from home, which is awesome. Another reason for this would be because the real estate in North Georgia is relatively cheap compared to the rest of the country, especially when we're talking about other major metropolitan cities in the country. I don't think that you could live within an hour of a town like LA or San Francisco and have relatively low real estate prices. Most metropolitan cities, if you're within an hour, you're still gonna be paying kind of a premium to be close to those cities. And Atlanta is a little bit different because you can be within about an hour of Atlanta and has some relatively low real estate prices, at least compared to the rest of the country. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump down to my computer and we're going to look at the map and I'm gonna give you a little bit more of a dive into North Georgia, at least a visual representation so you can kind of understand what I'm talking about here. All right, so we are here on the map. And of course, here's the state of Georgia right here. And Atlanta it looks like it's in about the northern third of Georgia. So whenever I talk about North Georgia, let's zoom in a little bit. First though, I wanted to show you, of course, Atlanta is the capital and you can kind of see the sprawl there. So I want to show you the airport because that's going to be an important. Let's drop a pin at the airport so you can kind of see where it is relative to the rest of Atlanta. Click that and let's get rid of this and you can see it's kind of you know about 10 15 minutes south of atlanta all right cool so when i talk about north georgia what i want to do is zoom out so basically everything up to about coming right here 
all around Highway 20 as we go out, like most of this here is Metro Atlanta. This loop right here is called 285. That's the uh, Atlanta bypass. And you have your major highways going out. Northeast is Interstate 85. You got Northwest is Interstate 75 going up this way to Marietta. And the world champion Atlanta Braves are located right here in Marietta, if you want to go check out a game. Um, also, so what I want to talk about is North Georgia. So when I talk about North Georgia, I'm talking about basically coming as sort of the end of the suburbs, at least in my mind, coming over to Canton. We're drawing a line over here. We're going over just about to Cartersville, and then we go north. So you can take 75 all the way up to the state line up here to Chattanooga. And then of course, if you see this dotted line right here, that is the border of uh, Georgia. And this right here is Tennessee, of course. And over here we have North Carolina. So that is sort of the big view of North Georgia. Okay, as you leave 285 right here, you travel north on 19, which is also called Highway 400. And you're gonna get through some of these towns. You got Sandy Springs, you got Roswell over here, and you're still in the suburbs at this point. You got Alpharetta, and that's kind of coming towards the end of the suburbs. And then as you get right here into coming, this is, you're starting to get into North Georgia at this point. And right here, as you can see, this massive lake right here, and it's hard to really give you the scope of how large this lake is. And this is Lake Lanier. So Lake Lanier, if I zoom back out a little bit, you can see Lake Lanier is northeast of Atlanta right here. And Lake Lanier is huge. It actually serves as a water source for Atlanta and even further south of Atlanta in Alabama and Florida, I believe. But um, so let's get back over here to Cumming. Cumming is a really great town. It's been booming for, gosh, 20 years or more. This used to be cow pastures and country and you know, was not even relatively close to being anything that resembled a suburb, but it's almost the suburbs at this point because you've got, you know, you got Target, you got Walmart, you've got uh, Cumming City Center, which just opened, which is like a great place for shops and, you know, restaurants and, you know, all kinds of stuff. Cumming is growing and it's turning into a bedroom community. So, you know, what used to be cow pastures 20 years ago is now, you know, there's neighborhoods everywhere. And for the most part, the south side of coming, which would be south of Highway 20 right here, down this way, this is gonna be a little bit more uh, suburban, but as you go north up on 400 here and you get up towards Cole Mountain and Matt and Silver City and, and some of these little towns right in here, uh, this is way more rural, believe it or not, just right here north of Highway 20. Once you get to 369 and then beyond 369, it feels like you're in a different world. Now, as we go a little further north on Highway 400 or 19, you see that you're getting close to the end of Lake Lanier, or the northern part of Lake Lanier, where these rivers come in right here is the Chesity River. And over on this side by Don Carter State Park up here, this is all coming from the Chattahoochee River. Lake Lanier is kind of ending up here. And as you can kind of see, as I zoom in a little bit, there's lots of parks on the lake here, Toto Creek Park, you've got Warhill Park, you've got uh, a couple of marinas right here. Cool Springs Park is up here above the lake. You know, Little Hall Park is a great place with a little beach. Duckett Mill Campground. I mean, there's so much to do just right here north of coming and getting in towards Dawsonville. You've got, of course, more, plenty of parks here. You've got some golf. You got Countryland Golf Course in Hampton Golf Village. And there's even one up here, Chesity Golf Club. So you probably heard me talk about some of these before. One thing I wanted to mention over here is this giant square right here. So this is Dawson Forest and it's owned by the city of Atlanta. And at one point, I think they tested, and you can kind of see here, they tested uh, nuclear aircraft at some point. So this was like a military installation at some point, but now it's just somewhere around 10,000 acres of just woods. Sometimes people go mountain biking. I've fished out there. 
some people ride horses on the trails out there. It's kind of a cool place. And there's some like spooky stories about it, about being haunted or something like that. But you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's haunted or not, but it's a cool place to go. As we see here, the suburbs have ended kind of here and coming. And we talked a little bit about Dawsonville. As you keep traveling up 400 here or 575 over here on the West or 985 up North, the further North you go, of course, the more rural you're going to be. So some of these towns like Cumming right here, Canton right here, or over like Oakwood, Flowery Branch, Gainesville, these are gonna feel more suburban, all right? So this line right in here. But as we creep up further north, you hit Highway 53 right in here. Dawsonville is growing, but it's still pretty small. Um, we're getting down to like, you have, you know, three or four grocery stores in a place like, you know, Dawsonville, Whereas in coming, you probably have 20 or 30, you know, so let's creep up even a little more. And as we see, you know, the lake is kind of getting a little smaller up here and now it's turning into just the rivers that are feeding into the north side of Lake Lanier. All right. So then you get to like, OK, now we're in Dahlonega. So in Dahlonega, you are you are in fully in North Georgia. Like you're not far if you see this dark green all in here. This is the Chattahoochee National Forest. So you're right here close to it. And you're you're seeing mountains when you're in Dahlonega and you're at like, uh, I don't know if you're at chick-fil-a eating you can see the mountains so you know down here you might be able to get a little bit of a view of the mountains but up here like you're seeing it okay so the appalachian trail this this dark this little green dotted line right here this is the appalachian trail so if you're wanting to do some hiking and you can see like hey i'm in dahlonega and i like to be outdoors so check this out you can Get on the road over here. You can hit the terminus, southern terminus, the Appalachian Trail, and you can hike as, I think it's like 80 miles up to uh, the North Carolina line right there. For reference, when I'm talking about, you know, you got one or two grocery stores like Dahlonega, you have a population of somewhere around 30,000 people in the whole county, and you've got one place to go grocery shopping, and that's Walmart. Like I mentioned earlier, you got Dawsonville down here and you've got maybe three, four or five grocery stores that you can shop at. So as as we can see, like the more we creep north here, the more rural it is. But the more country it is, the more quiet it is and the more, you know, small town living you have. So in a little town like Dahlonega, which I live in Dahlonega, you know, it's not just completely desolate and there's nothing there. I've lived here since, gosh, 2007 and it's a great place to live. Um, yeah, if I need to drive to the grocery store, it's going to take me, you know, 15 minutes to get down to Dawsonville. But I like living in the mountains and a little further away from everything, but also having access to get to, you know, places like Dawsonville coming. I can get to coming where my office is down in 30 minutes. I can also get down to the airport in probably about hour, 10 minutes with no traffic, you know, maybe an hour and a half, or maybe a little longer if there's a lot of traffic on a given day. It's not like in a town like Dahlonega right here that you're living in the middle of nowhere and you got to drive three, four hours to get to anything. You know, you still have access, but, you know, it's just a little bit on the outskirts and I kind of like it that way. OK, so let's talk about uh, 985 a little bit. And if you see right here on the southeastern side of Lake Lanier, you have Buford and Buford is kind of like the last really large suburb on 85, 985. And Buford has the Mall of Georgia. I mean, it's got it's massive, like there's everything you would ever want in Buford. OK, so we're talking like lots of people still in Gwinnett County, you know, lots of stuff to do in Buford. So once we creep up 985 a little bit, it's going to get more rural. You're still close to the lake right here. You're going to see a little bit less track built homes in large neighborhoods. And you're going to start to see a little bit more country as you creep up towards Oakwood. Oakwood does have the University of North Georgia. Oakwood campus over here. So you're going to see a little bit of, uh, you know, activity over here and you get into Gainesville. Gainesville is a larger city, but Gainesville, you can tell, like if you're in this area, you're, it's a little bit more rural and this is like its own thing. It's not like, Hey, you're in the suburbs of Atlanta. And as you can see kind of here, all this green, we're looking at all this green. This is where you're going to be able to get, you know, maybe a house on some property or you can get a larger house for maybe a little bit less money 
than what you'd get down towards Atlanta or even in Buford or some of the uh, some of the suburbs down there. I mean, you're creeping out towards Lula, Claremont, like this is wide open spaces. You're looking at the mountains. You've got, you know, pastures, you know, farm town, you know, it's it's a cool place to live. It's a little bit quieter. You know, if you want to have a little bit more of a country feel, maybe you're ending up in a little town like this. All right, and over on the west side, uh, similarly to 985 over on the east side, you have 575, which goes north. You know, once you hit Woodstock, Holly Springs, and Canton, you're pretty much at the end. I'd say probably Canton, north side of Canton is where you're gonna be at the end of the suburbs. You also have a lake over here on the west side, Lake Alatoona. So if you're wanting to live maybe one of these uh, towns over here on the west side, you do have some lake access over here at Lake Alatoona. But once you uh, get past Canton over here on 575, you're pretty much in the country at this point. You know, Ball Ground is a cool up and coming town and it's a town that I've mentioned in one of my videos. And as you can see, if you look at all this green around Ball Ground, like this is a small town, like you're, you're not in the middle of it all, like you're away. You've got a Kroger to shop at. You, I think they might have a Publix now. I'm not quite sure. It's a great place to live. It's nice and quiet. And you can get down to Atlanta quickly if you need to right here on 575. You can also get maybe a little bit more house for your money in a place like Ball Ground, especially as you get up here towards Marble Hill, Jasper. Like we're, we're in mountain towns over here. Like this is uh, a cool place to live uh, and nice and quiet, like I mentioned. Jasper's are a great small town. As we creep up, then you get to Ella J. We've talked about Ella J in some of my videos before. Ella J is apple farms. I mean, it's apple farms, it's people with cows, like you're in, you know, you're you're really out there in the mountains now. It's a nice little cool town. I just sold a house to a family that was coming from the Tampa area in Florida. They saw Ella J and they fell in love with it. They loved the idea of being close to all the apple farms and being in small town America. A lot of cabins, vacation rentals up here in Ella J. If you're looking at, hey, I wanna have a vacation house or I wanna have a place that I can rent out to people or do a vacation rental and maybe stay on the weekend sometimes, you're probably gonna wanna look somewhere around Ella J. You're gonna wanna look near such as up here. You know, Big Canoe's down here, close to 52, 53. There it is right there. There's Big Canoe. Dahlonega, some of these towns. So you're like, hey, I want the real North Georgia experience. I want to live out in the woods. Then you're going to want to be up here somewhere. Now we're getting towards like the really, really far North Georgia. And now we're in Blue Ridge. A lot of people want to talk about Blue Ridge. I get comments about Blue Ridge. This is the spot. <laughs> Everybody's got vacation rentals up here. You know, everybody wants to have a place in Blue Ridge. You've got Lake Blue Ridge right here, of course. Um, hey, look, there's the there's the Expedition Bigfoot that I talked about in my Blue Ridge video. Great place to go check out. Okay, so if I zoom out a little bit, you see Blue Ridge right there, Lake Blue Ridge. You see Ella J right there. You see Dahlonega here, you got Cleveland, you've got Helen, you've got, you know, this is the state line up here. You're seeing like, okay, well, here's Atlanta. And you can see like Blue Ridge is, you're almost in North Carolina, Tennessee at this point. So just to give you a little bit more perspective, I know we zoomed in there for a minute, but like, you know, we're going from here, we're gonna drive all the way down and this is all basically North Georgia here. As you can see here, as I've zoomed out a little bit, you've got Atlanta right here. So basically what we have here is something for everyone. And I would love to dive into more detail on any one of these towns for you. Send me a text, send me a smoke signal, you know, give me a call. I'd be happy to help you dive into more detail on one of these small towns. If you have not subscribed already, of course, hit that subscribe button. I would love to keep you up to date with living in North Georgia. We'll see you on the next video.